How to Fold It, The Mathematics of Linkages, Origami, and Polyhedra by Joseph O'Rourke. When we got this book in the Cambridge office, I was really excited having folded a couple of origami objects in my time, but this book really takes it a step further, so we thought we'd see if the average origami folder could look into the mathematics behind the folding techniques that we all know. So I wanted to focus on one particular chapter which is called the fold and one cut theorem. And the fold and one cut theorem basically states that you can cut any shape out of a sheet of paper with just one cut if you know the way to fold the paper. In this really easy example, we have a sheet of square paper. We fold it in half towards you. Then fold the top two corners in, as you see here. Take the left-hand corner and open it out and crease it. Then make one cut along the top. The cut should move all the way from the right hand to the left-hand side, cutting off the top of the triangular portion. Now unfold your shape and you get a rectangle. So to get a little more advanced, we'll cut a star, and this was supposedly what Betsy Ross used to make perfect five-pointed stars for the American flag. And it was popularized in 1922 when Harry Houdini wrote a book called Houdini's Paper Magic. So take your square piece of paper and fold it lengthwise with the fold on the right-hand side. Then make a fold so that the lower right-hand corner of the paper comes to the center. Fold it again so that the left-hand corner comes to that center point, as you see here. Finally, fold the backmost portion away from you to fit behind the folded portion. Then take your scissors and make one cut along the bottom at an angle to create a triangular piece. Unfold and you'll have your perfect five-pointed star. This can get increasingly complicated because you can make any straight line drawing you want with just one cut. As you'll see, you can even make this angelfish. The folding gets really complicated, so we won't go into it now, but this is what it looks like folded. And when you make one cut, it turns into this. So how does the fold and one cut theorem work? Well, in How to Fold It, author Joseph O'Rourke tells us about the idea of a straight skeleton. Every shape has its own straight skeleton, which you can create by growing and shrinking the sides of the shape at a constant speed. If you draw a line that bisects these resulting angles at every vertex, like you can see here, it produces a network of new segments. Folding along these segments gives you the pattern you need to create the shape with just one cut. You can read more about the fold and one cut theorem in How to Fold It and learn how to create your own straight skeletons to make any shape with just one cut.